Hey, it's Joe Glines. In this video on Auto Hockey Studio, I want to de demonstrate a couple options. Um, one of them is new, so if you don't have this built in, you might need to re-download uh, Studio. I was talking to Maestro the other day, and let's say, let's get my debug window here, and let's put a value there. So, hex equals, wow, this is cool, if I could spell. So, save it, run it. Now, when I launch it, it, um, notice it, it does this down here, right? Um, but let's say I had um, an issue, right? So I'm gonna save this and when I go to run it, so this output here, um, it, it tells you there's an error in the code, right? Well, what I realized was before I would rerun this and it didn't clear this output and I didn't know it would just do another one. It didn't clear it, it would put it beneath it. And then once you get more than two, you start getting really confused as far as to what, which one is it still? Are you working on the same one? Did you fix the error? It was really confusing. But now when I re, um, rerun it, notice it clears it and then puts it back up there. And so that's actually a setting you got to turn on. Um, that that one again, you might have to re-download it. So let's say clear out, put on on run clear. Maybe it's debug. Debug. Yeah, uh, clear debug on run. So see, I have it enabled. If I disable it, and now I run it, and see how the, they start stacking, um, which isn't terrible either. Depends, of course, your preference. I personally like having that thing blanked. So clear debug on run, turn it back on, and now when I run it, I just get the one error. So that's a setting. Again, you might have to redownload Studio for it, but uh, I, I, I liked that one. We added that in. The other one, which because... I, I have Studio running almost all the time, and I'm very persnickety about what I like in my system tray. My system tray is right here, and I don't leave a lot in here. And so I was like, hey, can I get rid of the, the icon for Studio? Notice it's it's nowhere in here. And so that actually is built in. So um, icon, um, where is it? Let's try system tray. I know it's a setting, so it should it's gonna say enabled or disabled. Maybe it's under system tray. Hide tray icon. Okay. So hide tray icon is enabled. I'll disable it. And now notice studio is down here. And again, because for me, I put this up here because I have a lot more room going this way than this way. And when I get a second row of these, it this gets clobbered here. So I like to um, hide. Oh, I know system tray was in there, right? Hide. Oh boy. Let's try this again. Alt M. Hide tray icon. Ah, okay. Keep thinking. Okay. So now it's back off. So it's a nice, easy way to be able to, um, you know, keep your system tray nice and clean. Cheers.